Splashdown. From Tranquility Base to Taurus Littrow to the tranquil waters of the Pacific, the latest chapter of NASA's journey to the moon comes to a close. Orion, back on Earth. After 25 days, 10 hours and 53 minutes, and approximately 1.4 million miles, the Artemis 1 Orion capsule splashed down Sunday morning off the coast of Baja, and the process of collection began. They saw it coming in through infrared, and three main parachutes came off and it landed in the ocean. It slows from 24,000 miles an hour down to 300, and then the parachutes come out and it hits the, hits the water at 24. So it's quite an engineering feat. Um, and then the, the small boats that are in the open water, they do their assessments and make sure that there's no hydrazine or ammonia leaking and attach a collar to it. And we tow it into the well deck of the ship and the Navy recovers it. It was honestly very inspirational. When the orbital uh, hit the water, the entire ship erupted into cheer. Uh, and it was honestly, uh, it was almost kind of like an emotional, like uh, it was just like a great step forward for the Navy, NASA, and the nation. As a kid, you're, you know, you're looking forward to anything that has to do with space. I know I've been in the Air Force 18 years now, but this is the most exciting thing I've ever been a part of. Tuesday morning, the USS Portland docking in San Diego with the Artemis 1 Orion capsule after a very successful mission. Everything I've heard is, is looking really good. They'll know more once they get the capsule back to Florida at the end of the month. So we launch it to, to the moon. It's been some time orbiting the moon. We were testing out all the systems, communication, propulsion, seeing how it's really going to go, and then brought it back. And we brought it back at a pretty much a higher velocity than we would normally fly back because we really want to give it a good shakedown to make sure that we are ready to send people. We need all the data that we can get in order to fly astronauts on Artemis 2. So we took three hours of data and thermal data to see how hot it would get in the capsule after re-entry. Did a lot of beacon testing in case there's an emergency so we can find them. Um, but this mission was all about calm, steady, protection of hardware, data gathering. And so the next step is for us to put people on board and we're, we're ready. And for astronaut Shannon Walker, she's hoping she gets that call. Yeah, I can't even imagine if I got that call. I know what it's like to get the call for my other space missions. So this one, oh man, it would just take my breath away if that happened. It's, it's the next step of our uh, journey of exploration and to be able to go where so few people have gone before would, is pretty scary, but amazing. From Naval Base San Diego, I'm Allie Wagner, KUSI News.